exercise 4.5 let me tell you one thing from the last exercise 4.4 the measure of dispersions mattered we have completed but here you can see in the exercise 4.4 the question is like price fluctuation of two shares a and b are given below which type of share has more relative variation in its price so the variation of in the price of the share a and b is given here we are going to make a comparison now when the information is given related to comparison here we have to find out coefficient of variation so first let's take the all the information in the book here you can see share a information i have kept separately share b information kept separately now variation coefficient of variation the formula is standard deviation divided by mean into 100 so first we need is mean to find out the mean first take the value in in the column get it total that is 3210 now out of this total get it divided with the number of observation you will get 321 that would be a x bar which will be get minus with x 321 minus 321 that is 0 322 minus 321 1 325 minus 321 you will get 4 this is how you have to keep on going but remember agar aage wala value x ka value kam hai compared to the x bar the answer will be in minus but it doesn't make any difference because ye column mein jo bhi answer aayega uska square root remove karenge to agar answer minus mein bhi aayega wo turn ho jayega plus mein that is by minus minus plus roots so let's continue with this 3 minus 1 2 minus 5 minus 2 minus 3 why minus 3 ye 318 hai aur x bar ki value 3 to 1 hai jo zyada hai so we got the answer in minus now we'll remove x minus x bar whole square the square of this column 0 0 is a 0 1 1 is a 1 4 4 is a 16 1 1 is a 1 again 3 3 is a 9 1 1 is a 1 2 2 is a 4 5 5 is a 25 2 2 is a 4 3 3 is a 9 now get the total of this column that would be a sigma x minus x bar whole square that is 70 now on that base here I am going to find out standard deviation. Remember the answer is in integer. So directly we can use this formula. Under root the value which we found is 70 and n is 10. That is 7 and if you remove the root of 7 you will get 2.645. So 4 will turn into 5. Now we will find out coefficient of variation. For this here we have the value of standard deviation that is 2.65 divide by mean that is 3 to 1 into 100 get it divide and then multiply by 100 we get 0 0.825 this digit 5 number hai so number change ho jayega by 0 0.83 that's what the coefficient of variance we found next the same question where the information of share B is given. Let's start the calculation here. Again, take the total of X bar that is 1400. Divide the number of observation that is 10. Here we get the answer in integer. So here this is the what the formula we are going to use to find out standard deviation. And to find out this, we'll get X minus X bar. The N X bar value we found is 140. So 141 minus 140 here we get the answer 1 146 minus 140 6 130 minus 140 minus 10 now i will get continue with the remaining hope you now understand how, how you have to do the calculation of this column 12 then we will remove the square of this column 1 1 is a 1 6 6 is a 36 10 10 is a 100 and minus minus sign will turn into plus 6 6 are 36 2 2 are 4 uh, 5 5 are 25 8 8 are 64 36 64 and 12 12 are 144 and the total of this 510 which is going to keep in the value in the formula 510 divided by 10 so remove the root of 51 and the answer is 
seven point fourteen. Now just keep into the formula of coefficient of variance that is standard deviation seven point fourteen mean that is one forty into hundred and here we get the answer five point one percentage of the coefficient of variance. Now here we can say that share B is more Second question, the daily salary of administrative staff of two companies yielded the following result. Here the company A and B, mean and standard deviation. Find which company has more stable salary. So here we already have the information for mean, the comparison of company A and B and the standard deviation of company A and B. So let's take all the information in the book. And here you can see the mean and standard deviation is ready we have so we no need to find out anything just keep into the formula to find out the answer s is 30 and the mean is 600 into 100 here we get the answer 5 percent and over here let's keep 84 that is the standard deviation divided by mean that is 2100 into 100 and here we get the answer four percentage so here coefficient of variance in the daily salary administrative staff of company b is less than the company a the next question number three the coefficient of variance of two series are 30 percent and 25 percent and their standard deviations are 15 and 9 respectively now here they ask you to find the mean so first let's take the information here we have is coefficient coefficient of variance that is cv is 30 mean is given sorry standard deviation is given 15 and ask you to find out mean same for the another information so let's keep the value cv the co coefficients of variance is 30 so here you have to value rakh do, cv ka. standard deviation jo aapko question mein information diya hai, that is 15 keep the mean as it is and 100 now we can swipe the value of uh, position of the mean and coefficient of variance keep the mean over here 15 or niche 30 ko lelo, into 100 on this calculation you will get the answer 50 very simple and easy so moving to the next again from the question we'll take the coefficient of variance is 25 percent so keep 25 for cv as that is standard variation 9 mean which is not given so again swipe the position mean keep here and coefficient of variance 25 over here multiply by 100 and here we get the answer 36 so again we can see that the mean of the first series is 50 and the mean of the second series is 36 here we complete the exercise 4.5 moving to the next exercise 4.6